What's up YouTube, welcome back and today I'm going to show you why people fail in BSF farming, right? I am literally very sad right now. I've faced this challenge over a long period of time and I'm still facing it. And you know what, I don't want you to go through it, so let's get into it. I know you're going to discover the secret that's going, that's going to hinder you from making 100 kilograms per day. And that's what I'm, I am preventing right now. Before you get into the video, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that next time I upload a video, I know the next time I upload in a video it's about um, how to maximize egg production in the night so that you have maximum uh, larvae. So I've basically figured out and I would like to share it with you. So let's get into the video, hit the bell notification so that I may add, so that next time you receive an email notification from me when I upload a new video. So you don't, you don't end up missing anything, any beautiful thing. Promise you, you're going to get it, yo. So here I'm in the prepeeper unit, and actually, there are basically two things that can kill your population, and one is um, rain. So uh, as you can look at my roofing, uh, you can realize that I brought a kind of engineer that is not really a dedicated one. Not actually an engineer; he's just a local resident who was who needed money so look at what he did uh he realized that the roof has been too flat so and that basically means rain ends up collecting on top of this roof and you find it drops down here so as you can see one thing that can hinder your population is when the waste you feed the um larvae is waterlogged basically they end up dying because um it hinders their movement and uh breathing system so uh, as you can see, this is one thing that can kill your population, that can bring you from height to zero. And so, what is so this will basically force me to uh, remove all this roof and redo it again, so that uh, I don't get into the same trouble. The first thing, don't allow rain to enter into your housing, right? Uh, make all efforts to block the rain and all that, so that you don't suffer the same things I'm suffering. It's it's hard, you know. It's hard after all the harsh, you know, like. And basically, when it rains here it rains like really heavily sometimes so you end up you find that all the larvae comes out so and you are your system is all disorganized then you're starting again and again and again and again it's a whole bottom so it's good to do it at once uh don't be like us who use the old materials talk about old iron seeds because we thought we are now that's the problem with most farmers, right? We want uh, old materials, uh, old iron seeds, old nails that we start figuring out our farm. And uh, it's it's rare that people actually around here use uh, new things for their farms. So I think that's one challenge uh, we need to solve. At least we need to uh, get new things and work on new things. And so the second thing is uh, ants. Um, I did not tell you, but there's a video in which I mentioned it. There are some red ants, and uh, those ones which are not red, black in color, those ones can basically uh, reduce your population drastically. And so, how to prevent them? You now, what they do is that they carry the larvae to where they actually have their base. So, their base is usually very far and is under the grass, which is very hard to find it. So, one thing you must do is um, make sure the area around is really clean, uh, don't make it too dirty. By the time you make it too dirty, then you are really inviting them to do something that you you may not like basically so make the area around clean and see how uh make even the room well in case you have your people unit like mine make sure inside is clean and outside is clean so that you're not hindered by anything and basically those ants hmm, around the enter the waste you usually don't go easily and they can kill a lot of the larvae a lot a lot in few days so avoid ants even ants in the net i remember a day ants ate all the flies within hours so when they enter your net that's why it's recommended that you have to put your net at a height so actually let me show you my nets and then you see that it's necessary to put a net at a height i learned my lesson uh i woke up in the morning and i found the net was really empty like i was like what what then i was like i think i need to give up I'm, okay I got the energy, I took up the strength, and then I said, okay, no problem. It's a lesson learned, so don't do the same mistake, right? 
uh, make sure your nets are at the height most times uh, if possible put the put the bases of the paws in, in a kind of oil me I don't use oil because I kind of trust where I've put them so but if I learn a lesson that also the hands entering when I have not so but you put oil also like other people do so let's go uh, let's try to see my nets and see how uh, they are doing right now so so here we go as you can look at this at least they are more than 30 centimeters high so actually the actual 30 centimeters high uh, for this one let's start to raise them using a brick here so this is the one i first started with and uh so this one's a writer as you see my people you need to is there look at all this so they're all at a height because i learned my lesson and so and even this if you look at it it's very high right and it's very high too so that's fine so thanks for watching like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit the bell notification bell so that next time i upload a video you may receive an email from me did it bye bye